All right, I'm going to be working on her hands today. I did a lab, little advertisement on my Facebook page to see if I could hire a young lady to pose with her hand, and I couldn't find uh, any response. It's probably because I just didn't see the ad, but anyway, so I'll just do what I can with without the ad. All right, let's get busy on this. Okay, I'm trying to clean it up here behind the hand. I added a finger to the hand and where the uh, I held a uh, towel, and I'll show you the picture now. And I found that the hand to do it the way I was showing it, uh, the hand almost has to be at an angle. And I didn't know that because I was just guessing when I was sculpting it the first time. And... Uh, I also noticed that my fingers could show underneath. So that's what I was trying to do. But I don't want to make it look like a club hand. I mean, a big hand. But the fatty area under the thumb would be bunched a little bit because of uh, the action of her of holding on to the blanket. Well, I can't do any more to it because I've got to redo those hands. And uh, the only thing I can think of is sculpt the hands separate from her because I've got to make it proportional to her. And I can't do that. Well, I can do it, but it's just a lot easier if I could do it away from the body and then work out the hand ahead of time, fully proportional with all the fingers, and then sculpt the, the blanket. And then once I do that, put the back on the arm and sculpt the blanket. All right, I'm gonna continue on with this hand. And I'm gonna try to sculpt it to this hand size. The fortunate thing is that maquette uh, from, uh, from anatomytools.com and they are not cheap. Um, it's a 24 inch uh, figure. And that's exactly what my Indian girl is, a 24 inch figure. So her hand will be exactly the same size as the hand would be on her. So I can take the arm off. It's got a magnetic uh, connection. And I can lay it down here and put it next to where I'm going to be working on the hand and uh, try to match the same size. Boy, if you can afford that maquette, it's well worth the money, but it's, it isn't cheap at all. It's very expensive. Now, it looks like the same material, but this is a resin, whereas this is a mo monster clay. And again, I'm doing monster clay because it holds its shape better than uh, regular clay, the plastiline that I use. So anyway, I'm just going to try to match the width of the uh, hand palm. Let me get my roller here. And uh, match the width and the length. Oh, how about that? Okay. Now, I need to do the forearm. Now the other hand, well, I've got the broken tip on the thumb 
in a broken little finger. That's the problem with resin. Uh, if you uh, drop it or hit it with something, it can break. But this, this arm, the other arm, for the uh, left hand, is the same um, angle I need to work from. So I'm going to use this as my model for my fingers. And I'll sculpt each finger separated, and then I'll put them together uh, and put them into the position that I will have them on the hand holding the robe. I'm not going to worry about the little uh, uh, creases in the finger because it's all going to be under the blanket anyway. That's the bottom of the thumb. Yeah, got the thumb too up, far up. Go back further. Yeah. All right, that's the hand, the new one. And I've got to cut it right there. Okay, I've got to take that thumb, move it out of the way, and press in on the blanket. Because the blanket's soft, and she's got to be able to have the strength enough to press in with her thumb to hold the blanket in her hand. Well, whew, that's a stressful thing to do. I don't know why my camera is starting to show the clay as being blue. <laughs> I don't know. I heard there were problems with GoPros going haywire at some point after you've had them for a while. And I've had this GoPro probably for two or three years now. and uh, Or whenever the 8 came out the Hero 8. So, I don't know, maybe it's just starting to act, starting to act up now. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to pick this up next week. I am to the end of my rope right now. And, uh, I'll get this all worked out next week. I like, uh, everything the way it turned out, except that one finger. It needs to be right there. See, I knew I was going to have to have the fingers sticking out from behind the blanket. And I just had to figure out how to do it. But I'll get all this worked out in clay next week. But uh, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll continue this next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.